to Joseph in a dream. Here we go on that. And he says, listen, don't go that way. Go down into Egypt. And I said, okay. I've heard of Joseph in Egypt before, and I started scratching my hair. <laughs> Did you know that God repeats himself? Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on, God. Yes. But this ain't the same Joseph that was in Egypt there you go. when Pharaoh was on the throne. <laughs> this is the Joseph with the baby Jesus, who is now the king on the throne. And in their journey down into Egypt, they would need providential care to carry them. Watch this. And God said until Herod dies. Yeah. When that king dies, this king, Jesus, will take the throne. But you're going to need gold, you're going to need frankincense, and you're going to need myrrh to keep you in Egypt. Whoa. While you wait for this king, Herod, to die. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. When you're looking for the king, God will provide. Yeah. 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 Yes, he will. Yes, he will. I kept wondering what those things were for. Everybody kept breaking it down in, in my, 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 my commentaries and, and, and theological thesis. And I kept looking and I kept looking. At, but what would Jesus do with that stuff? It's for their care in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the question is, who's on my throne? Amen. Amen. And perhaps maybe the reason why the baby Jesus, who's all grown up now, that's right. That's right. He's a big boy. Watch this. He's coming back. Hallelujah. Just like they were looking for Messiah. Watch this on that. God repeats himself. Just like they looked for him in the first coming, we should be looking for him in the second coming. But he's not the little baby Jesus. He's King Jesus. And he's riding on a white horse. And he's going to clean up some stuff. I'm looking for a king who can fight my battles. God knows I have some Bumps and lumps this week. But I got to this text, I got, I got excited. But here's the, here's the hook. You got to take Herod off the throne. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Two kings won't rule That's right. at the same time. Right? Amen. Herod must come off my throne. Amen. You got to wait till you die. I'm going to kill him. Yeah. All right. All right. You have to wait and take him off. Yeah. Look for the real king. Amen. Amen. Jesus. He wants to fight our battles. He rules and he reigns. And I'm going to leave you with this in my mouth. Everyone loves the Savior part of who he is. I, 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 no, no pun intended, but I like fire insurance. You'll get that on the way home. <laughs> I don't like going to hell. Let me clean it up. Some of y'all what is he talking about? I don't like going to hell. They call it fire insurance. Some folks just got Christ with fire insurance. Keep him out of hell. Oh, wow. Whoa. But the other side of Savior is Lord. Amen. And that's where he ruled and he reigns. And he is king. He's king of kings. He's Lord of lords. Do you need him this morning to fight your battle? Is there anybody else in here but me who has a tough week? And here's what I've learned. Ralph, I like this part. He's never lost. Oh. Never lost. Ever. Ever. I said it before. No one remembers who finished second. <laughs> But they do remember the chant. Right. <laughs> this king is able to wipe all tears. This king can hold you in the middle of the night. This king has answers to our problems. Not like King Herod. This morning, looking for the 
the king. All eyes closed. All heads down. We're going to open up the doors of the church. And someone here, under the sound of my voice, maybe sitting on their own throne. Watch this. And you realize that your reign and your rule hasn't gotten you anywhere. Now let's be honest. It wasn't until we made the change. A lot of us have had current in us. And we decided to make the change and put Jesus on the throne. 